Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds in the welterweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Fighting out of General Santo City, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. His adversary, his professional record consists of 35 wins, 28 knockouts, and two defeats. Coming out of Kegos, Miguel. All right, fellas, let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. He missed with that headshot. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Manny Pacquiao. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Manny Pacquiao's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed? where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy's gonna be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So, start one hand, he's gonna be looking, he's gonna react. Start the right hand, just a little flinch to the right hand, throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. Pac-Man scores with an uppercut. Pacquiao's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Nowhere close that punch by Manny Pacquiao. Rock'em, sock'em, robots right from the start here, Teddy. No defense, just pure offense. The combo lands upstairs. Not much action as he just ties up. Great defense turning to offense for Manny Pacquiao right there. Blocked and punched back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep it up! Manny Pacquiao's efforts are being busy. In that last round were really good for us. I got more. Uh, you gotta breathe. How are you feeling now? You're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. to monitor now. We have a bloody nose on Pacquiao. A knifing left hand by Miguel Cotto. Good combination to the body. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Not able to land the headshot. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. That straight right unable to connect. Little volume punching to the body there. 
Pacquiao's right hand scores well that time. You can see he's trying to score up. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. What an excellent two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's ability to just get to his opponent before his opponent gets to him. Showcase there. His hand speed is very good. Yeah, it is, Joe. You know, it speaks to one of those old sayings that the trainers used to say, just get off first. That's what he's doing right now. He's getting off first. Well timed by Miguel Cotto. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Miguel Cotto smashed by another uppercut. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Manny Pacquiao. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And this round comes to an end. Cotto's got a little more on his plate now. He's been dealing with a tough opponent all night long. Now he has to deal with the cut as well. Yeah, it's no different than being tested in any other business. If you're a race car driver, you're in the Indianapolis 500. All of a sudden, something hits your windshield, cracks your windshield. You can't panic. You keep driving. You didn't want to have a cracked windshield, right? You can still see out of it a little tougher, but you have to keep your composure. Same thing here. Keep your composure. Do what you were trained to do. Start of a new round, and you got to expect his opponent to jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him to get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. He's working his jam. Good, good. That's it. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Oh. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. He stays committed to the body. Miguel Cotto blocks that punch. Wow, no doubt about it. Affected by that right hand. If I were him, I'd be hanging on a little bit here. Manny Pacquiao's legs can't fail him now. Oh, my, is he taking damage. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Good, solid right hand. What a big shot. Well, they describe Pacquiao as a risk-reward fighter. He didn't get the reward that time. He took the risk, and it got to him. So used to seeing Manny Pacquiao in complete control. Now the tables have turned as he rises up and beats the count. Scores with the combo to the head. Pacquiao is able to land a good, solid left hand. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Manny Pacquiao's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. Get together. And round three comes to an end. How you feel? It's counterpunch. You need to be aware of that, okay? Watch for the counter. You can't let this guy throw first. Three. Two, three. I need to see the combinations from you. Let's do the combinations. This fight is too close. Let's throw the one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. Not 
the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Pacquiao's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if nice you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Halfway through round number four. And another right hand comes in. Cotto's left now getting into the mix. Something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up. Oh, boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round, saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. Good. Oh, you threw a wide punch out there. He caught you. You don't need that. I know. Pacquiao's hope for an evening going his way seems like it is out the door and gone. He went down in that last round, and he's been down numerous times tonight. And you gotta wonder whether or not this fight should continue. Toto able to get away from that punch, able to block it there. Just did a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. What would you recommend based on what we're seeing here? Well, two aspirin and then... Go, oh, no. Actually, I would say... A oh, a big shot comes home for him. Manny Pacquiao's evening could be over soon, folks. Three, four, up, five, up, up, six. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Good combination. Hook into the body with the left, and then going up top with the right. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Look at this. There it is. Wow, is this good stuff. What Two, good stuff. Three, he just scored the knockdown four, after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. How about that? Another right hand. Big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Four, five, six, seven. is stopping this fight. Miguel Cotto's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. By way of knockouts, your winner, Miguel Cotto.
Miguel Cotto's power that we saw throughout the night, building a lead on your scorecard, now ends the night with a knockout victory. And it begins the next night, the next dawn, the dawn of the new beginning. More money. Knockout, ring money. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.